Have my conviction. You don't know me, but I've found you. It wasn't easy, seeing how you've never met. But her words were persuasive. Once I tracked you down, I went back to her, but she was gone. All I found in the debris was an address, which I've enclosed. I'm going to make sure she's all right. If there's any part of you that cares for your daughter, you'll come too. Signed, R. Price. Private investigator. Right, well, this is it. The Isle Tide Hotel. I'm looking for a young girl. <laughs> Which one? You're not the first to ask, mind you. I had some cretin in the cab this morning asking about some girl. Couldn't have had an invite, though, because I saw him sneaking around the back. That's who paid your fare. Anyway, best of luck finding her. Excuse me. Welcome back to the Isle Tide Hotel. If only for our final night. I trust you had a pleasant term, Miss Ray. Um. Apologies. 
I mistook you for somebody else. How may I? an invitation. Oh, marvelous. I trust you had a pleasant turn. Of course. May I inquire which symbol can be found on the inside of the invitation? You must have seen it, no doubt. Across. <laughs> oh, forgive me, sir. It's just a rather splendid joke. You shouldn't feel bad. Who gave it a valiant effort? Cross. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I, I was just. <clears throat> are, are, you, are you not going in or? Taking the receptionist wasn't very friendly. <laughs> Something about him. Mm. Otherwise, you'd be in there, right? <laughs> Unless you're thinking it over. I mean, I'm Christopher. Like I'm uh, looking for someone. But she's a lot older now. You mean she's in there? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, it's just, well, you don't get an invite if everything's okay. I'm here for my daughter, too. Oh, she, she's not inside it. It's me. I, I don't want her growing up with a dad like this. Anxious. <laughs> Seems like you really care about her. I do. And this place can really change you. Whether that's a good thing or... But, uh, I can help you at least. Get you in if we went together. Yeah, let's go in together. You, you, you would do that? You, you would come in with me? Sure. Well, uh, they're great. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Christopher, sweetie. For a moment there, you gave me a fright. I thought we couldn't have you. Yeah, my, my friend here, he convinced me. Hi. I'm Josh Malone. We don't usually allow guests, but as you convinced my Christopher, I won't put you through the test. But we need you to get fitted. Why don't you go get ready, sweetie? I'll see you in there. Oh. <laughs> You'll be following me, speedily.
Arms up, sweetie. Let me measure you. Oh, well, do you wish to participate or not? We need to start the exhibition, and if you don't wish to... What kind of exhibition is this? Only the world's greatest, sweetie. There's nothing more exquisite than the human form. Human form is exquisite. But the world and her wife wish to change it, fill it, fake it. Pity. It is only when we're different we realize what we had. I create all the experiences at Isle Tide. A clear vision, varied, so they find their true core. But lower my core sheet. I just want to find my chameleon. Somebody who can wear them all to perfection. I'll get one ready for you. Go wait in the bar and I'll summon you through shortly. Off with you, speedily. Gold. Uh, excuse me? See? Another verse that doesn't notice them. Have you never looked up during the swell celebration? Um. <clears throat> Which is why the balloon should be gold this term. But red is traditional. You said that already. But red is customary. Or oh, customary to have, always have someone else take the credit. We need to try something new. What do you think, dear? No one notices. Perhaps you should try the gold. There's a girl here. Perhaps I'm be... no longer needed. Some old relic. Oh, don't go. I wouldn't know how to do this without you. I'm stuck for choice. I'm swayed towards the white lace, but I wore that last term and nothing changed. I'm looking for a girl. Oh my. Who's she wearing? It's hard to keep up, frankly. They always outdo me in the term's latest fashions. I can tell she means a lot to you, the way you failed to look at me. It's perfectly acceptable to do it alone, but I think it's best to have a partner. Am I right? True. Well, you should find someone to help you. Where is room 14?
Join me for the changing of the tide. Seeking person with an open mind to peel back the layers and find the core. Room 7, 8 p.m. Rosie. To all who think the core is sex, all genders welcome. Room 18. For lovers of literacy and language, I, Jordan Hemlock, am starting a petition to change the terminology of the etiquettes Ergo, come find me and sign. Hi. I was wondering... I've tried to warn him. They can't be changed. Or cheated. The receptionist reminds us all with a single look. Except that man at the bar, it seems. I didn't stick around to find out why this time. I best go find her. She'll be looking for me, my wife. by means of fulfillment. You realize Dr. Aniston could be anybody. I wonder if he's here. I've got no closer to finding the core this tide. Waste of a suit. You'll move then, Paul. You're not Paul. I'll still be Paul. Forgive about me. I'll be others, some other poor bastard's problem soon.
You're here to see me, no doubt? Yes. I'm Jordan Hemlock. <laughs> I'm not surprised you've heard. They chatter in their boxes. You see, I've spent more time alone this term and began to ponder the word term. Horrid sounding. Ergo, I've created a petition for the grand elect to change the terminology. What do you think of the word span? So how was your span? Ah, uh, I knew I could count on you. You remind me of myself before I slip this on. <laughs> Actions speak louder than words can be spoken, as the saying is. Right. And these uh, grand elect, they choose who come here, do they? Invitation only. Oh, they ramble on about their inclusiveness, but all I can see in these etiquettes are rules to keep out those they deem unsavory. But should we call for a hearing at the measuring in front of all the verse, ego, they'd have to consider it without the benefit of a bout. Uh, they don't have to listen to me. There are rules in place to stop that, too. Rules can be broken. Oh, if only. Unless, like the democracy of America, you scratch my back, and then you can demand a favor later. Right. I mean... And I would guarantee it. Anything you want. Good afternoon, sweetie. Tonight's measuring is underway. So if you could adorn your robes, masks, and follow me speedily, the Grand Elect await. Sorry, I am. I should at least pretend to know that you were coming. Sit, if you're attracted to the prospect. I was skeptical too. But after 212 predictions, my conversion rate improved significantly over the term. My return on investment only began when I decided to believe. The Queen of Wands wants to show herself. You are seeking something. Or someone. A girl. And even if you don't believe, there are 78 cards with infinite shuffle combinations, so who's to say that you weren't supposed to see that sequence? I haven't finished my handover yet, so choose one and let's see.
Interesting. By the end of this swell night, you will have to make a choice. Which is the right choice? The one you feel will gain the greatest return. Was there something about a girl? Anything? You don't know me, but I found you. That's what I wrote in the letter. I'm Price. <laughs> You're Price? What did you expect? Oh, jeez. Bet right. myself a bottle of Bushmills you wouldn't show. Heard you were never around. And people don't change. So figured it an easy bet. It's those who do, you have to watch out for. So why are you here? I'm here for Eleanor. What, I have some newfound fatherhood? We're looking to make yeah, a... Yeah, I came, didn't I? That makes no difference. Well, why did you write the letter? In case something happens to me, at least someone would know where she is. What is this place? They have your daughter. That's all I'd need to know. <sighs> Asked around before I got here. People stay tight-lipped. Even the locals. Even for cash. Whatever's going on has got folks scared. Or loyal, like I've never seen. Unlike you. The guests are getting together downstairs, dressed in these. I'm gonna get one, go down there and find out who has her. And if you don't show, I won't be surprised. Doubt she would either. Boring. London based, so the commute's a nightmare. And you can settle down next time. Do you sweat much? <laughs> <laughs> Got newfound respect, mind you. Didn't get promoted once. Bloody bunch of tossers. <laughs> Told you so. And you said I was whining. I hope you learned something. Yeah. It's never subtle. It's obvious where they're looking. Right here. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. What do you think of my hair? Um, I love the colour, but people say it's too much. I think they're bloody boring. Hmm. Maybe I should try that. Boring could be fun to do. Brown. After the measuring wraps up, we can approach the Grand Elect. I hear they've even taken a girl this term. Sparrow. Under age. Hypocrisy. We must fight them at their own game. See you again, like... Jordan. I'm all right. Still propagandizing your suit to get into the pageant? You don't 
Grapes are not harvested from thorn trees, nor a fig scattered from thistles, for they yield no fruit. Peel comes before the fruit to protect it, but that shall not be so on the swell. Just as the great ocean has one taste, the taste of salt, so too shall this tide, the taste of life. To reach the fruits, we must first cut away the peel. Simul yestis e peccato. Good afternoon, both. Nice to see our body. Hope you all had a lovely time. If you're new, or would like a reminding, the nine chapter etiquettes can be found in your rooms, or on the notice board in the lobby. It is my pleasure to introduce say we are. Praise be to Dr. Aniston, founder of the Tide and seeker of the core. Praise. 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 First we have taken the measure of each other. Now comes the fitting. Bring forth the new verse. your suit and we shall swap it in the giving and the changing only the core will remain and in the core purpose uh, <clears throat> I've uh, changed my mind uh, sorry I don't, I don't want to do this. <laughs> I was, um, I was talked into it. Because, well, no, 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 I, 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 no, no, please, no, 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 no! Before we embark, does anybody wish to shed guilt for the term? Last term, I practiced as the priest. I found it hard. I confess, I... I turned to drink. And I, uh... I got a tattoo. <laughs> 
Okay. Etiquette seven has been broken. To impart manners, your choice of suits for the coming term shall be halved. Forgive me. You are already forgiven. I committed a crime on the previous term, which verse 37 was arrested for. Etiquette 4 has been broken. To impart manners, your suit shall be chosen for you. You are already forgiven. I too wish to shed the whispers you have heard of a young girl are true. Chosen by Dr. Aniston herself for this deviation of etiquettes, she will be presented to all at tonight's swell celebrations. A hearing for all. Until such time, we shall proceed from the measure to the fitting. Therefore, ergo, I have started a petition to um, attend to swap out the word term. Oh, are you sure you're doing this for the love of language, Jordan? Well, that's not what I meant to. I, well, I, um, I'm here representing those verses such as this person, who have signed our petition and believe that it is important that one word... I do not believe we've met. <laughs> Staff members, hangers, mentors, or those untested shall have no say at the Altide or the Swell. Unless the new verse passes the entrance exam, ergo, allowing all established rights of the etiquettes to be passed to him or her. Should they pass? You failed to mention that you weren't invited. However, if you do this for me, I'll grant you a favor. I want Eleanor Malone. Eleanor. Right, right. You help me with this, I'll help you with that. You must think like them, hmm? Shall we begin? Sure. I'll take the test. Left hand. Lovely to meet you. First question. Are you afraid of dying? Um, depends how. Who is the founder of the time? Dr. Aniston. Founder of the Tide and seeker of the call. I was uh, talking with Dee the other day about what the most important part of the Tide is. She believes it's the suits. What would you say?
the hotel. That's not what I would have anticipated. How many members were present at the first tie? Six. If you could experience all the world had to offer, but you had to inhabit another person, would you? Yes, without question. Such blind ambition. Commendable. But we're here to encourage more individual thought. Each term we complete, we remove distraction, ambition, and leave little of the person you once were. And what's left was always there. Our core purpose. The meaning in life. Yes, yes, but did he pass? Our newest verse. Ergo, will you listen to the hearing? You may not score another writ this term, Jordan Henry. For a verse may call for one hearing per term. And we have already heard your request on behalf of your wife. Unbearable. Which was denied. Well, then I will call a hearing. As is your right. Verse 56. You'll still need 68.8% of all verse to sign the petition. All etiquette hearing must be signed off by the notary before the swell night celebration. Which is tonight. Good luck. Hey, what did they mean about your wife? Lovely woman. Always complaining. Find a nugget of gold and she'll grumble about silver suits her better. <laughs> Still, she's my nuisance. And they banned her from joining. What did she do? Nothing. That's just it. I'd do anything to be with her. By proving they're not always right. Yes. There you go. Help me with this. And I'll get this Eleanor Malone for you. Hmm? Take this to the notary. And get it signed. He's a tricky fellow and we haven't much time. Where do I find him? I'm starting a revolution here. I'm not in the habit of making visits. Take a peek at the map behind reception. I'll go and get the rest of the signatures that we need. Well, are you going to get enough in time? It's not exactly an exciting proposition. You've given me an idea. Meet me at the bar once you're done.
Dr. Aniston. for mistaking this as some gender identification struggle. Not to say such struggles don't exist here. Just look at George. Instead, it's my observation that Jordan's case runs far deeper than that. A very misguided attempt at a Shakespearean tragedy. I believe bereavement counselling is the next action step. Hmm, personal. Has crossed professional boundaries. I haven't seen her, but this Eleanor Malone is clearly underage. I was told the etiquettes wouldn't be broken. Who knows what psychological damage could be done to such a young mind? Well, I'm out. He doesn't suspect anything and shouldn't until it's made public. Further observations would be useful, but the research I've already conducted could help thousands. The first few chapters are locked in my bedside drawer. After this term, I'll publish. Huh. Where I'm going, not even Aniston could find me. Wouldn't say she's made any improvement. It's like she doesn't want 